We're on page 97 now, and this is um, ECG exercise number 25. And uh, this is another interesting rhythm. And let's start again with the heart rate. So the heart rate is approximately 75 beats per minute. And there are no clearly discernible P wave. What we have is a lot of you know, bumps along the road here. Uh, but none of them are consistent in morphology, so we're not entirely sure what that is. And um, uh, if there are no discernible P waves, clearly there can't be a PR interval, so that's not applicable. And the QRS is wide. It's about 0.14 second, and the ratio would not be applicable if there are no discernible P waves. And the rhythm is regular. So we have a wide QRS complex uh, with a uh, regular rhythm. And when you see a, a wide QRS with uh, a regular uh, rhythm, um, we would have to assume that that is an idioventricular rhythm, that that is a, a single focus coming uh, from the ventricles that's controlling that heart rate. Now, you might ask yourself, well, could this not be atrial fibrillation? Uh, and the answer is no. Um, you know, you might look at these and think, well, maybe these are fibrillatory waves, but you cannot have a perfectly regular rhythm with atrial fibrillation. That is not possible. So it definitely cannot be atrial fibrillation. Um, could it be a junctional rhythm uh, because we don't see P waves? Well, again, the answer is no, because as I said before, uh, if there are no P waves and the QRS is wide, then we have to assume that the focus is coming from the ventricles. Now, you might ask yourself as well, could this be atrial flutter given all of these things that appear to be, especially over here, possibly flutter waves? Well, again, the answer is no, because remember I said that flutterways have to be at least four millimeters apart, and these are about a millimeter to two millimeters apart. So this cannot possibly be atrial flutter, and that's a common misinterpretation of this particular rhythm. Uh, so it's not atrial flutter, it's not atrial fibrillation, it's not a junctional rhythm. The interpretation of this rhythm is uh, an idioventricular rhythm, and because the heart rate 75, which is above what you would expect, of an idioventricular rhythm, which is, you know, the inherent rate is 20 to 40, because it's higher than that, um, we call this an accelerated idioventricular rhythm. And uh, this was uh, this was actually uh, taken from a patient that I transported on a helicopter. Um, I worked on an Air Ambulance helicopter for 10 years, and the first helicopter I flew on was a Bell 212, which is a very shaky aircraft. And uh, we used to call this Bell 212 artifact. So that's just artifact along the baseline there. So again, this is uh, an accelerated idioventricular rhythm with a heart rate of 75.